Hey guys, it's Miles. Um, sorry I haven't been posting a lot of climbing videos lately. I've got a bunch of footage stacked up, but really just been focusing on climbing itself and not the, uh, you know, the content and all that. Still documenting all the boulders that we send and all the routes that we send on Mountain Project, but just not uh, keeping up with the video. Sorry, I'll catch up eventually. Uh, one thing that has been coming up, I've been getting some questions from people you know, over the last few months is this tape method I've been using uh, on sore fingers, flappers, uh, bruised tips from like full crimps on, you know, sharp credit cards, crystals, whatever. My fingers are in far better shape than they've ever been. And partially, or a lot, it's because I've been using this tape method uh, when I need to. And I know when I need to now from doing it and not doing it, learning the hard way. Um, so basically I call this the Akira tape method because it's kind of overpowered. Um, it is, you know, a joke, call it aid, and it kind of is. Uh, when I started doing this, the first time I ever tried it, I got to immediate new high point on a really hard brick wall with just razor crimps. Uh, so it was apparent to me it definitely worked. And then on other boulder problems, it helped me get sins that I otherwise couldn't have with sore fingers uh, and all that. So anyway, all you'll need is scissors, your finger tape that you like. I prefer this for this. I prefer the wider tape for this method. And then slipknot fabric, which I'll put in the description. This is a rubberized material with some kind of nice uh, microfiber backing. And I, I've used it in other industries and it's been a really good fabric, really tough. And these patches will last you a long time. So as you can see on this finger, it's fully taped up, ready to go. It's taped for the slightly bent position. And that patch is underneath one layer of tape and then two layers of tape whenever it's secured. So first thing you do is you cut a patch de length dependent for whatever finger that you need to protect, whether it's a flapper or there's a really nasty move on a route. So start with the edge of it in the joint of your finger and pull it up to where it covers your fingernail or meets your fingernail. So all you do, cut it at that length and it's not real critical. Uh, it's a little short, it'll work. It's a little long, it might feel weird, but it doesn't really change. So you've got that cut. The next step is to pull off a piece of tape that's basically twice as long as your finger. It can be a little shorter, a little longer, so it's not that critical either. It's a little too short, it'll pop off sooner than you want, but um, I usually take these on and off anyway during a session, uh, if the session's long. Your fingers get a little soft if you leave them in tape all day. All right, so the next step is you put your slip knot fabric uh, dimples down about halfway, but a little more than halfway in the in the middle of your fabric or in the middle of your tape. And then with the that crease in your finger, you line it up like so, and you'll bias the whole patch just a little of the outside of your hand, because when we pull the tape around, it's gonna want to slide down, and you might end up low. So you just bias that a little bit, and then pad that in. So curl that tape down, get it nice and secure before we, need, we tape around. Kind of bend that in like that. Okay, so we're good to go. The next step is to pull off our wrap piece, which is about one and a half times the finger length. And this is kind of important for climbing sensitivity. You don't want to wrap this more than one time. You just want to trap the bottom of this piece, wrap it once, and then curl down. So the slightly bent finger, take the tape and run it over the edge and secure it. And this is where I was talking about, you wanna bias the, t the pad a little high because whenever you tape it down and pull it, it's gonna, it's gonna slide to the inside of your hand. And that was perfect right there. 
So you have your pad under one piece of tape, pad under two pieces of tape, and then your finger has basically the main layer, then two wraps, and one wrap over here at the very bottom. So um, the point of that is so you can maintain your sensitivity on really small crystals or credit cards. I've done it where you just tape over it twice for more security. It doesn't really add too much security, but it, it decreases your uh, sensitivity a lot. Now, uh, the last part is just to secure the back side, and these tails are only uh, here just to hold the whole thing in place. Same thing. This one's less important, but uh, just wrap it up with a slightly bent finger. Um, I'm not a doctor of any kind, but I think it feels really uncomfortable if you tape straight and then pull. Uh, I don't want to lead anyone to finger injuries, but doing it this way with a slight bend, it's comfortable. And when you start pulling really hard, it doesn't doesn't seem to bother you. So if you have a longer tail and you didn't get it just perfect, just rip it off. And there you go. So it depends on the boulder you're on or the route you're on. Maybe your pinky's getting fried. Uh, maybe it's your pointer finger. Maybe it's your pinky and your pointer finger. Point being is I don't, unless I've been climbing way too much, I don't tape all my fingers. I only tape the ones that need it for the specific problem. And it might be just a full crimp on the tips that's killing me or a drag on a razor on a, uh, yeah, razor on a credit card that's just ripping skin off. So tape the fingers you need. Don't tape the ones you don't so you can still maintain sensitivity and kind of know where you're at. Or if you hit the wrong spot, you know you just need to move a little bit. Because you will lose sensitivity here, but I guarantee it you will uh, you'll gain some performance. So it's pretty simple. Um, all you need is tape, a slip knot fabric, and some scissors or a knife. And I usually give these four or five good burns. It uh, depends on what you're doing. Pull them off. Get the patch, uh, let your fingers kind of dry out, and then uh, retape as needed. Anyway, let me know what you think. If you have uh, success with it, I surely did. Uh, like I said, it uh, helped me send things that otherwise couldn't have with sore fingers. Um, and most importantly, my fingers look like I hardly even climb, even though I climb all the time. Because whatever the hot spots are, I just tape them up and forget about it. Every once in a while, though, there will be a move like a sloper where this will hurt you. Um, and you'll find that out. So kind of have to balance the cost of, uh, you know, my fingers hurt, but I need to make it through the sloper move, uh, whether it's sensitivity or just pure friction. Uh, I might have to take these off for that sloper move on a specific problem. But crimps, credit cards, crystals, um, even certain finger locks and things that are really bad, uh, this definitely, definitely helps. All right, guys, see you out there in the Wichita's or wherever. Uh, we'll be down at Quartz Mountain this weekend uh, climbing Old Baldy. See you there.